Hi, I'm Roland Tung Lao, and I'm the Mozilla Thunderbird Technical Support Lead. In this video, I'm going to guide you through upgrading to the current version of Thunderbird from Thunderbird 3.1. It's important that you perform this upgrade because Thunderbird version 3.1 will no longer be supported or maintained after April 2012. And just to prove that I'm running Thunderbird 3.1, I'll just go to help about Thunderbird, and you'll see it's 3.1. You'll also see is I have two appointments, April 27th, 9 a.m., and 1 p.m. Uh, using the add-ons, lightning, and provider for Google Calendar. Upgrading Thunderbird 3.1 has four steps. Step one, back up your data. Step two, upgrade Thunderbird. Step three, check for add-on compatibility. Step four, review new features. So we recommend that you watch this video before performing the upgrade. The upgrade should be less than half an hour. Don't disconnect your computer from the internet while the upgrade is underway. Step two is backing up your data. It's not strictly necessary to do this, but we recommend to do this periodically, and especially before you upgrade Thunderbird. To back up your data, copy your Thunderbird profile. The Thunderbird profile contains all of your email, contacts, and settings, and profile is just the name we use for it. So what we would recommend for backup is to back it up by copying it from a directory to your local drive or onto a backup USB stick or hard drive. I will be providing links in the supporting material, but you can find the Thunderbird profile at a different location on Windows XP or Windows 7, Mac OS 10, or Linux. After the upgrade process is complete and you are satisfied everything is working correctly, you can delete the backup copy of your profile. So that's backing up your Thunderbird data. The next step is to upgrade Thunderbird. To upgrade Thunderbird to the latest version, you just simply open Thunderbird and then you click Help on Windows and check for updates. This will be slightly different on Mac and OS X and Linux. Although most Thunderbird add-ons are updated to the current version, you may have add-ons that are not compatible. Uh, and you will see this now. So first we're going to do get click on Get the New Version to upgrade it. We're going to download the Thunderbird update, 51 seconds, and then we will restart Thunderbird, the new version, and then it will check for add-on compatibility. And then we'll be able to check out the new features of Thunderbird. So seven seconds. I'm sure you're out there with uh, anticipation of great delight when this is over. Five, four, a few seconds remaining. So we'll now restart Thunderbird where it will do the compatibility for the add-ons check. So restarting Thunderbird. And now it says it will give you a user account control prompt, which will um, is a normal UAC or Windows 7 uh, prompt, which you will not see in the screencast because the screencast can't record UAC prompts. You click on yes, and then Thunderbird will start up. Just takes a few seconds. Here we go. Select your add-ons. Now Thunderbird's doing the compatibility check and it's found the Lightning and Provider for Google Calendar add-ons. And it's going it says whether they can be updated or not. Some haven't been updated, but in this case we're very lucky the updates have been updated, which is the case actually for most add-ons at this point. Click on next. The following add-ons will be updated. Lightning, provider for Google Calendar, click on next. It will now download and install the updates for your selected add-ons. Here we go. So now Thunderbird's restarting and upgrading your add-ons. And this is the last part, checking out the new Thunderbird features. As you can see the start page, tabs above the menu bar or tabs on top. Tabs are now on top. So you can see here the tabs on top of the menu. Uh, this occurs on Windows 7 and Windows Vista and Mac OS X and Linux, but does not occur on Windows XP uh, because XP doesn't support this kind of thing and it's not part of their look and feel. 
attachments have changed. The attachments file attachments interface now shows file size to conform batch attachments, batch actions on attachments. Keyboard shortcuts. There are new and modified keyboard shortcuts. Uh, go to Thunderbird knowledge base support.modzillamessaging.com. Search for keyboard shortcuts, and you will see uh, a newly updated comprehensive documentation for the keyboard shortcuts. And finally, you'll see that all of my email and information has been preserved. So my email is still here. My uh, appointments that were in the old version of Thunderbird, Thunderbird 3.1, are, are here now in the current version of Thunderbird, which currently is Thunderbird 11 at the time of the creation of this video. So if I go to April 27th, you will see that my meetings have magically reappeared and are preserved over the upgrade. That's it. That's all. I hope that your upgrade goes as smoothly. If things don't go as smoothly, please check out uh, support documentation at support.mozillamessaging.com. And from there, you can file a support request if you can't find the solution to your problems and questions. Thank you very much. Ciao. Tschüss.